We've got this nano tank here at the moment, and these little Aptasia anemones are growing rampant, and that can happen. So when you find that you've got a certain organism that's taking over the aquarium, then you sort of have to do something about it. If you want to have a nice diverse um, range of coral in the tank, so getting rid of these things, there's several things you can do. Well, one is remove the rocks that it is dominant on. There's also um, products like Aptasia X, where you can just dab a bit of it on each one of them and it kills them. And you can also get fish like stripies or copper banded butterflies or peppermint shrimp or various um, nudie branches. So there are things that actually eat this. So the great thing is it's possible we could chuck a stripey in and the stripey go to town. Now, once the stripey's gone to town and eaten a lot of them off, then depending on the stripey, you need to just keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't start going after other corals. So we have stripies in our display tanks and various butterflies in our display tanks, and they don't touch the corals at all. But sometimes it's a bit of a game of luck to get one that's going to eat the Aptasia, but not eat anything else that you actually want to keep. So you just need to keep an eye on it. So peppermint shrimp are good, stripies are good, and as with anything that's biological or anything that's alive, it is um, a bit of luck, because if you're lucky and you get a good one, and the good one just goes and eats them all, that's cool. But if you're unlucky and you get one that doesn't want to eat them, then that's not ideal. And at the same time, if you're really unlucky, you could get one that goes after the ones that we didn't plan for it to go after. So it's definitely something that needs monitoring. But at the tank at this stage now, we definitely need to do something about it. Otherwise, it's going to suppress all of the other corals. And eventually, this one will just become dominant and it will sting all the other corals. So it is action time. So it's time to try something. That clownfish looks like it's wanting to breed. The way that it's um, sort of vibrating in that little area there. If you keep your eye on just under where the clownfish is now, you'll probably find that you'll start seeing eggs there. So I can't see any evidence of eggs right now, but assuming they're a pair, which they probably are, then um, clownfish breeding in aquariums is very, very common. So this is where the RO water goes for top up. Now underneath that is the biological media and all that looks quite clean. Um, the pump looks to be functioning fine. Now inside the skimmer, it's really important the inside of this neck is cleaned on a regular basis because there wasn't much waste coming out through the skimmer. And if that neck is not cleaned regularly, you're not gonna get much waste. So I want that cleaned with a bottle brush about twice a week. Um, then in here, um, I gave the filter soccer clean and that was pretty clean as well. Now, as far as the water quality is concerned, ammonia is basically zero. There is a little bit of nitrate in the water, so I might um, put some algon in there, hoping to suck that nitrate out, and the increased water changes would help that a little bit. Then there's a tiny bit of nitrite in the water, maybe, maybe not really, uh, and the pH is quite good. That's about 8.4, and the phosphate's definitely coming up. So the algon will also help to remove the phosphate, but we're probably gonna wanna start focusing on reducing that phosphate, Otherwise, the corals aren't really going to appreciate it, and we're going to start getting a lot more algae. And we'll find the coralline algae, he won't do as well. Hey, buddy. Hey, mate. So, we want to get that phosphate down, get the algae down, and get the coral happy. So the KH is 7, which I'm happy enough with. I'd rather it be 8. And the calcium is about uh, 360. And I'd really rather that much higher. I'd really like that more like 440. So we definitely want to bring the calcium up. Definitely want to bring the phosphate down. So now what I'm doing is a gravel clean. I'm going to siphon through the gravel. Try and get as much dirt out of the tank as possible. Because I always want to take the dirty water out of the bottom. And not just the clean water off the top. doing this on a regular basis is one of the best ways of keeping the tank nice and stable and as you can see the amount of dirt that I'm getting out 
it's quite significant. Here you can see how important a gravel clean water change is because there's a lot of dirt in there that I've pulled out and that would have a lot of phosphate and a lot of nitrate and a lot of nutrients that I'm able to remove out of the aquarium altogether. Now at the moment the um, nutrient level of this tank is far too high. It is getting a fair bit of algae and it has got a lot of aptasia. We really want to get rid of some of that algae. We want to kill off a lot of this aptasia. Um, so I found this in the cupboard. This is a great product to use to reduce phosphate. I'm going to get that in there. Um, we're also going to add some algon and that's going to help the phosphate and help the, the, um, nitri the nitrate. And then at the moment our calcium is quite low. KH is a little bit low. Um, I found this in the cupboard as well. But it's really important that this is going into the aquarium on a semi-regular basis. So you normally you want to create a system and then you want to be just giving it a test every now and then to make sure that the system is working because the corals are going to use a certain amount of calcium and you need to be replacing it. So we need magnesium, we need calcium, and we need alkalinity. And they need to be going in on a regular basis to supplement what the corals use. Otherwise, if the corals use these nutrients or these elements and you're not replacing these elements, then the corals will start to die and the algae will take over. And that's actually what's happening. So we want these levels up and we want phosphate down. Because if that goes up and they go down, the algae goes crazy. We want that up and that one down so the corals can go crazy. Because ultimately there's not algae on a healthy coral reef. Because the nutrient levels are too low for the algae and the element levels are too high for the algae. So we're gonna make the tank either a reef aquarium or a river aquarium. Rivers are full of algae and the reef is full of coral. By what our levels yeah, are is I did a gravel clean on the bottom and the gravel was very dirty, but I cleaned it a lot. And then um, I went and poured water down the back of the reef because what I don't want is a lot of sediment building up in the back of the reef. So pouring water down the back brings all the sediment out. And it's very much like one step backwards, one step forward. Because now you can see the gravel is very dirty again. And that's because of all the sediment that has come out through the back of the aquarium. So that is very normal. But um, what this aquarium really needs is a few more services. I really want to um, get these levels up. I really need that added on a regular basis. In a perfect world, um, a dosing pump is ideal. Now, because there is a bigger aquarium coming for these fish, you could even think about setting the dosing pump up. So therefore, the dosing pump that you're gonna use on your bigger tank anyway, can now, um, you can now take advantage of that in the um, temporary tank because we really need to get these minerals up and we really need to get these phosphate down. So a whole bunch of water changes is gonna help us a lot. And the regular addition of um, the supplements is going to really help us. So really important to keep our fans clean because if this clogs up, uh, the fan can cause the light to overheat and that's not so fun. So all this algae here, is really just from too much phosphate. So where we can, we pick as much of this stuff out as we can, get it out of the tank, but ultimately get the phosphate down so this stuff stops growing.